Hey everyone, and welcome back to Kato. I'm Pen, and I will be your host on this adventure. So, what the hell are we up to today? Are we gonna need map piece? Right. Oh god, how do I get in there? It's not connected in any way. Okay, let's see what it looks like down here. Oh. Okay. way if I remember correctly oh shit now I gotta go down in here and then around right hello whoa what's this oh it's a goat hello goats uh, the goat eyes you creepily with their creepy eyes thanks I love that. Where are we going? Up further. Oh look, another goat statue. Oh. Oh god. Oh whoo. Just a moment, ma'am. Uh, I didn't expect you to beat me here. I'd hate for you to get lost on our, um, in our palladial estate. Anyways, welcome to your quarters. Put you in the master suite, conveniently located directly above the hot spring. World famous to both? Uh, my brothers Endo and Ringo are waiting nearby to assist you. Uh, oh, another goat statue. Uh, carving, I mean. Oh, is that an ostrich? A startlingly lifelike carving of an ostrich. Okay. Hello. Good day. You must be the guest. I'm not sure how you made it here, but we're very happy to have you. You must be exhausted after exploring our many amenities. Would you like to rest briefly in our innovative slate bed? It's quite rejuvenating. The look of pure excitement, if I've ever seen one. Please lie down and make yourself comfortable. Let the rocks work their magic. Okay, it's daytime. Are you feeling the effects? Rocks stimulate your your pressure points, relieving tension and transferring their energy into you. Ah uh, yes, yeah, stir up that hot lava within you. Let it flow into each of your limbs, warming your core and massaging your muscles. Is this like ASMR, but like volcano ASMR? There's nothing else quite like it. Oh god, it can be a bit much for some guests, admittedly. But now you have the energy of the volcano coursing through you. Perfect time to enjoy our hot spring. It's just downstairs. Okay. It appears to be empty. I have a map piece. Why are you mopping? What? What is happening going on? For apologize, ma'am. Our hot spring is currently neither hot nor a spring. It's more of a cold nothing, really. Okay. So I'm gonna go upstairs and place this piece, see what happens. Okay. I feel like this is gonna be a trick, so I'm just gonna wait. That didn't work. Oh my god. W. Flip flip. I kept instead of flipping, I was hitting the um tab button to close the map. Okay, let's see go anywhere? Yes, it does. Oh. Whoa. How did you get here? Hello, ma'am. This is our volcano calendar. Today's forecast says Ash with a chance of fireballs. Pleasant. Don't miss our hot spring. It's a favorite part of the lodge. We'll wrap up the tour once you're all warmed up. Okay. Ancient symbols. Human in the rock. Great. I love this. This is very helpful. Oh wait, I probably should just... Hmm. What is... Okay, yeah, that seems like it goes there. So... That seems about right. Oh wait, I gotta go down to the round. 
Okay, so does that open up? Oh, it does open up something. Let's see. What's over here? Something's dripping. Beware of whirlpool. Apologies if you've seen the sign too late. We should probably move the sign. Oh, no. Hmm. It looks like the water spout is clogged up here, up there. We you should be way more relaxed by now. Alright. So I gotta block, uh, unblock the clog. Toiletries. Toiletries? What? Oops, you kicked something loose. Oh, well, I fixed it. Brr. Well, the spring has sprung, but the hot has yet to heat. Hmm, perhaps Thumbo knows what's wrong. Could check with Thumbo in the Grand Lobby. I'm still underdressed. Oh. Oh, whoa. How does that happen? Huh. Okay. I don't think that's how whirlpools work. I gotta get back to the grand lobby. Um, so. Yes, that's where I want to go. Dining hall and kitchen. Oh, I forgot. I gotta go around. They're making me do all the running. So much work. <laughs> okay, it's over here, I believe. The launch pad. Grand hall, right? Okay, where did this take me? Yeah. Should be up here somewhere. Hello. Welcome back. I've received word that the water in our hot springs isn't very welcoming at the moment. My apologies. Our heater must be malfunctioning. Hate to ask this of a guest, but could you have a look at it? You seem to have a good sense of how things fit together. Think of it as a secret extra tour. Uh... Tell Pinko to take a goat and meet you there. Uh, our heater is located in the center of the volcano. Uh, it's only accessible via goat. Uh, you'll need this orange key just to get the goat started. Just pop it in its mouth and hang on. Uh, that is a carrot. I don't remember where Pinko is. I don't even remember who Pinko is. I remember where the goats are though. Um, oh, I gotta go down. Down here. I'm assuming you're not Pinko, right? I'm thinking burgers. Oh, yummy. We had burgers not that long ago. Okay. Carrot? Okay. Uh, volcano crater. Ooh, this is cool. This is much quicker. Whoa. Oh, you're a pinko. Right. Ma'am, thanks for helping out, ma'am. Uh, we're probably risking our lives, but you can't put a price on comfort. Let's get that heater fixed. You should be prepared for anything down there, ma'am. Fire golems, demonic goats, sentient lava, I've seen it all. Anyways, head down and I'll read you the instructions from here. Okay. Uh, give the rope a tug when you get to the bottom. It looked like the rope was burned. Are you at the bottom? Oh shit. Okay, listen carefully. First, head to the big wall at the back. Do you see three switches? Flip the one on the left. Now flip the one on the right. 
Now do a little dance. Just kidding. Head to the middle and put your hands on the wheel. Right, you're going to need to turn it. First, turn it left twice. One, two. Turn it right three times. One, two, three. Left twice. One, two, one. I um, may have been reading the wrong set of instructions. Sounds like we fully rebooted the system. Uh, maybe come back up quickly? Oh god. Oh god. Right. This is a problem. Help? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Do I shake it? Did, did that do anything? How how did that do something? I have badass powers. Hello? Oh. The volcano is going to erupt. We have to get away from it, from, as far away from it as possible. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, where to? Do you want me to just... Uh, does that... Is that the way? Whoa! Oh, there's a big one. Whoa! So smoky. Hot springs is gonna be hot. No deaths this time. <laughs> oh my god. The fuck? <laughs> How many people have died because of the volcano? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Alright. Uh, that's the calendar, right. Now what? Hello everyone. Hi. Ma'am? How did you like the tour? Wonderful. Remember to tell your friends how safe it was. Oh yeah, it was very safe. To the steam guests, we've received a package for you. Please uh, pick it up in the grand lobby. Okay. Grand lobby, please. Let's go. Package. Hello? Ah, there you are. This arrived for you. A letter. Uh, my Kato. Did you see that eruption? What a sight! I just barely escaped. The volcano seemed to move at the last moment. How fortunate! Or perhaps you're getting better with your map, you clever girl. I hope you got away safely too. I'm not convinced anyone knows how to read that dang calendar. The smoke is making it a bit hard to navigate and my engine is close to overheating. There's an iceberg at the edge of the world. I'm going to swing by and cool things down and let the, let the skies clear. Meet me there if you can. Okay. Good news, I hope. We have some good news of our own. The rock is gone from the entrance. The, the eruption must have shaken it loose. I'm sure we'll be swimming with guests in no time. So I hope to see you again, young woman. Tell your friends. Okay. Are you ready to leave the volcano? Yeah. Where are we going? I have no idea where I'm supposed to go now. <laughs> oh, where did we end up? Oh, back here again. Okay. Hello. Back at this place again. Kato, hi! I'm so glad uh, you're back. I can really use your help. I'm just feeling a little homesick. Thought I, I'd feel better if I could read about my island. Maybe find a way to sail back? But I can't find any books about it. The story tender said he'd help me, but I think he forgot. I didn't forget, you whipper, you whippersnapper. Uh, I just, I've just been busy cleaning up downstairs. Somebody made a proper mess while rifling through our collection. I'm sure she didn't mean it, whoever it was. Uh, she was just eager and inconsiderate. Well, if you girls can get things squared away downstairs, I'll have some more time to help. 
Then look through our files and let you know what I find. Of course we can do that. Uh, we can do that, Kato, please. You're good at arranging things. Hooray! Okay, just show us what to do. You know, this all sounds so similar to a book I'm reading right now. Oh, no matter. Follow me downstairs. Oh, God. I wanted to read that. I <laughs> uh, uh, got most of the books put away, but these boxes need to be moved. Can you transfer them from the left mat to the right mat? Uh, just make sure to keep the small boxes on top of the bigger ones so that nothing gets crushed. I'll be at the front counter looking through our files uh, for your sailing book. Just let me know when you're done. Thanks, girls. Okay. Alright. Um, this... There's literally only two stacks. Like... Was that it? I guess. Okay. The little cartographer returned from the volcano, only slightly, uh, lightly singed. She needed to meet her granny on an iceberg, and no idea how to get there. But first, her good friend needed help. I, I already did that. Hmm? Finished already? Let me have a look. Fine box work, that. The next batch is ready for you. Shade, it's a shade trickier, thanks. Uh, is this one going to be three? Whoa! Okay. So. Okay, I... Realized that I needed to, uh... Do it in reverse, but it's fine. I can fix it. So, move this here. This one. Wait, no, this one's got to go here. This one. Then this one. Um, shit. need to stack them like this. I messed up. <laughs> Get back there. 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 Wait. You're supposed to go there. <laughs> Shh. Don't say anything. I'm figuring it out. I've done so many of these over the years. It's just remembering the order that they're supposed to be done in. This one on here. Okay. Done. Another batch done? Let me see. Impressive. Just need your help on one last batch. I'm almost done searching my files for your sailing book. Okay, how big is this one? Whoa, what? Oh my god. I can't even reach the top. Where do you even start? How are you possibly going to move all these boxes? I mean... <laughs> that's, that's what we were asked to do, right? Hmm... What? I thought you'd be there for days! I, I have to see this for myself! Oh, okay. I was expecting you to come back. Nice work! Uh, things are looking tidy indeed. You girls are a godsend. I found the sailing book your friend was looking for. It's in the island wing. I think she's already there. Okay. The legend of the seventh iceberg has been passed down for countless generations. It was once an ancient document lives on only in story recounted by archaeologist L Locke? Uh, to whomever would listen. Uh, the story says that the iceberg contains a treasure to improve the lives of all people living at the edge of the world. Uh, legend thought it might be a uh, legend thought it might be uh, Luck has dedicated his existence to finding the treasure, never giving up hope. 
Well, good for him. It's always good to be motivated. Not only is the iceberg dwelling a demanding lifestyle choice, but an entirely unpredictable one. Running into a friend it might be for the last time you see them for a while if the icebergs don't drift together again. Residents install supply boxes of essential tools, food, i.e. sea pickles on every iceberg in case anyone were to get stranded. Okay, well, see, that's great and all, but what if the iceberg flips? There's so much about the culture of my island here. And some of our traditions happen on other islands too. I always thought it was just us. Shortly after her best friend, the little uh, the little cartographer left the story chalet, the blue haired girl's mind started to drift. She imagined her people back on her island, laughing and fishing, and she missed them greatly. She made up her mind to return home to visit them and set off to sail. However, she was quickly thwarted by heavy ocean fog and her compass stopped working. She tried several times in vain before giving up and sadly sailing back to the story chalet. Uh, though she wasn't the type to give up so easily. The blue haired girl decided that she would look through every book in the chalet until she found a way to navigate home. She headed downstairs and started rifling through books. Ooh, the, the books dogged her in. Uh, spending their days living within and full of soil, most earthworms are experts on all matters. It is said that if you give soil to a worm, they can point it towards its source. Though not all worms are created equal, some are more accurate than others. Uh, many have been led astray by an over-eager yet unskilled worm. Uh, but for those looking for a little help finding their way home, the right worm can be an invaluable companion. So the worm's going to help us find home? Look at this. There's a way to navigate the ocean using the soil from your destination. I'm glad we grabbed some before we left. Now we just need a worm to sniff it out. Hmm. Wait, you had a worm on you this whole time? Gross, but also yay. <laughs> we have everything we need. I think it's time to sail back. I know I'm not supposed to, but I just need to see everyone, even from afar. Oh, I'm sorry, Kato. I'm so wrapped up in my own feelings, I didn't even ask about yours. Did you find out anything about your granny? How was the volcano? Oh, a letter from your granny. May I read it? I'm so glad she's safe. And she wants to meet you on an iceberg? Hmm. My people have spoken of such a place near the edge of the world. I don't know how to get there, but perhaps they do. We already headed back to the island so we can find out more there. You can ask around, and I'll do some snooping. Uh, what do you say, Kato? Uh, will you come back to my island with me? Great, let's head back to the boat. I did a lot of reading while you were gone, and it was great. But it turns out the theatre of the mind can't be beat by the spray of salt on your face. Uh, I'm excited to get back out there. Cool. Somebody really likes the ocean. Uh, there's a reason why people of certain tribe can never return home after they sail uh, for their coming of age. It used to be that some who left would try and sail home only to be thwarted by the ocean or bad weather. Their families would never know the truth of what happened or assume they didn't want to visit. By following this new tradition, parents can better prepare for the pain of never seeing their children again. It will never be easy, but they'll know what to expect. A tough but needed tradition. I mean, that's that's kind of what I assumed it was. Okay, what does it say? The little cartographer and her friend were set to sail. They'd return to the island where they began uh, with the help of the wiggly companion. And somewhere far beyond that, Granny's iceberg loomed large. Adventure! Okay, where? The boat's up there. Okay. It's just up here. Do, 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 do. Hello. Time to go. Let's cruise. You take the soil, I'll take the sail. And we'll keep a close eye on your worm, buddy. Okay. Uh, Shannon and Kato, back on the high seas. And we both die. 
<laughs> That's a great end to the story. So good to be sailing again. I don't think your map will help us this time. What's that worm up to? Um. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. Let's see. Uh. Which way do we go? Southeast? Uh, can do, ca uh, Captain Carto. It's getting kind of foggy. Yes, I know, I keep pressing the wrong button. But it clearly says uh, N for north, but it's pointing down. Okay, stop. Yes, I get it. Uh, south. It doesn't feel right, but I'll give it a shot. Maybe we have to pay closer attention to the worm. Let's try that again. Okay. So, north. North. I can do, Captain Kato. We made it. That's my island, alright. Who's out there? You girls look familiar. We're just mermaids, sir. You've never seen us before. And that makes sense. Carry on, then. Whew, that was close. Uh, okay, now we just need to get past the reef. Any tips? Uh, let's split up. Divide the boat into two pieces. Uh, sail towards 11 o'clock. And do, Captain Carto. We're in the lake. Now, this is just ridiculous. Is that a question mark? Um, how do we wrap this up? So clockwise and go straight. Something to do with the hook? All of the above? I don't know. So towards seven o'clock, then turn clockwise, go straight, and then throw a hook. Well, that's worth a try. Okay, when it's all of the above, that's usually the correct answer. I'm not sure how that worked, but we made it. Great job, everyone. I can't believe we're really back here. Uh, and you, you and your squirmy friend are a real team. Kato and... Oh, come on, Wriggles. Kato and Wriggles. Okay, let's split up and look for clues to the iceberg. Uh, we can meet back here when we have some information. I'm going to stay out of sight since I'm not supposed to be back here. I know it's just a tradition, but it's important to my family. See you back here in a bit, Kato. Alright, well, I think this is a good time to end it, because we've made it so far. Look at look at where we are. That's so cool. We made it so far. Look, all of the map pieces. <laughs> Alright, well, um, I guess, let's see how we go, there we go. I guess if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and join the embarrassments, which is what I call my community. And I hope you're having a great day, wherever you're at in your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.